Are you a business owner tired of wasting ineffective time on marketing strategies? No worries. I have a solution for you. Let's talk about the power of Pinterest and how you can harness and leverage the power of Pinterest to promote your business. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Nyquia, and on this channel, we talk things all business, marketing, Christianity, and a lifestyle. Now, today is going to be a business video because we're talking all about Pinterest marketing and how you can use Pinterest to promote your business. So, if that sounds like a topic that you need information for, keep on. As always, there's going to be timestamps down below so you can skip to a certain section that you really want to learn about when it comes to promoting your business on Pinterest. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love topics like this and don't forget to subscribe because I know some of y'all are watching this video and have not subscribed yet. And make sure you turn on those bell notifications so you never miss any videos that has to do with Pinterest marketing. So a little preface if you don't know I own a SEO and Pinterest marketing agency and I've been doing Pinterest marketing for the last six to seven years now. I know a little bit about promoting your business with Pinterest because I do it not only for my agency but I also do it for clients brands as well. I all know that Pinterest has taken a turn in the last couple of years from not just only being the world's largest visual search engine but now a commerce shopping platform so today we're going to break this video down into five different parts the first part being understanding your business goals and audience insights number two proper business setup and account optimization number three is creating pins that actually convert and understanding what type of pins you should be creating that align with your business goal number four we're going to talk about automation and scheduling and then number five we're going to talk all about understanding understanding your analytics and creating a strategy around that. Before you can actually start promoting your business with Pinterest, it is so crucial that you understand Pinterest audience base. Because if your audience is not on Pinterest, then you're going to be marketing to nobody. So before you start marketing on any platform, you have to understand what your business goals for your brand is, right? Is it to drive website traffic? Is one of your business goals to make money? Is one of your business goals to increase brand awareness? Do you want to increase your community? So email sign up. Do you want to increase the visibility of your brand to people and reach people who have no idea you exist? You know, there's so many business goals that you have to write down first before you start marketing your business on any platform you also have to understand who your ideal customer is because if you don't know who you're talking to then you're going to then it's going to be so hard for you to attract the right people and convert people as well the next thing you want to think about in this subject is why do you actually want to use pinterest what about pinterest do you see is powerful and it's going to help you align your business goals with using pinterest in the first place and then you also are going to have to understand which pinterest method metrics align with those business goals and I'll talk about more about analytics in a few but for example if one of your business goals is to drive website traffic then if you're using Pinterest for your business and to promote your business you're going to be looking at the metric called outbound click now you're also going to want to make sure that your audience is actually using Pinterest Pinterest has a very specific audience base that uses the platform for specific reasons so if your industry is not on Pinterest then Pinterest is not going to work for you I'm going to leave a video up here in the cards to understand if your audience or to understand how to know if your audience is on Pinterest I do a deep dive but just to show you real quick I'm gonna hop over to my computer on where you can find this information so on your Pinterest uh, account you're gonna go over to the analytics tab hit that tab and then go down to audience insights what what this is going to tell you is the top 20 industries that people use Pinterest for. So what you're going to do is go over to all Pinterest users and out of the 4.8 million people who use Pinterest on a monthly basis, look at all the categories. These are all the industries that people use Pinterest for. If you look through all of these and you do not see your industry, then Pinterest is not the right move for you. It's not going to be effective in promoting your business with Pinterest. And now some of these categories are a little bit broad. So if you're like, I don't understand what design is. If you click on design, design is like web and app design. So if you're a web designer or you are a tech person and you design apps, then you do have an audience on Pinterest. So make sure you use that tool and you have to have the business account 
to access this tool and it's a free and I'll get to that in a few. This tool also shows you audience insights as far as demographics so you can see if your ideal customer is also using the platform as well and not just if your industry is thriving on Pinterest. Now that we got that out the way, the next thing to promote your business on Pinterest is to make sure that you set up your account correctly and you optimize it correctly. Pinterest is a visual search engine. Think of if Google and Instagram had a baby, okay? It actually beats out Google Image Search at number one. So it's so powerful if you are using the right keywords, which means you have to understand the voice of your target consumer. You have to understand how they're using the platform to find a brand, product, or service that you offer. And when you find those keywords, you're gonna have to make sure you place them in certain areas on your content and within your profile so that Pinterest understands what your brand or products or content are about so it can distribute it out to the right people. If you have no idea how to do keyword research, I'm not going to go through that in this video because I have a whole video detailed about the best about the best keyword research methods that I use for my clients and for my brand as well. And if you're interested in that, I'll leave that video link down in the description below. And I'll also have a card up here as well so you can watch that video. The goal with keywords when it comes to your profile account is one, you want to make sure that you use keywords in your profile title. So I'm going to hop over onto my account just to give you a example of what I'm talking about. So for example, I'm an SEO and marketing agency. So I use Pinterest to basically attract leads, attract website traffic, as well as even sell my digital products through Pinterest. Now I'm telling Pinterest within my profile title who exactly I am as a brand. So in your profile title, I have SEO marketing, I have business tips, and I also have Christianity because I share a lot of Christian business tips and I also use Pinterest to promote my Christian business podcast as well. Now, within your Pinterest description, you wanna kinda incorporate the same keywords that you put in your profile title within your description. But in your description, you wanna be a little bit more descriptive of who you are, what you do, what type of information they're going to get when they follow you and you can also add information as uh, the type of audience who is going to be interested in your content that you're going to be sharing on pinterest so making sure that you're speaking to your ideal audience and once again you're going to be wanting to use keywords that you did in the keyword research that your audience is actually using on pinterest now you'll see here that i have a little blue check mark next to my name and that means i'm a verified merchant that basically means that i applied to be in the pinterest verified merchant program which means all of the products I sell on my website are now exposed on Pinterest and people can now find my products on Pinterest if they're certain for searching for certain keywords. So if you're an e-commerce brand owner and you want to learn how to, one, apply for the Pinterest Verify Merchant Program, it's a pretty simple process, but two, also leverage Pinterest as a sales conversion and drive people over to your website to purchase your products or for them to find your products on the platform, then you're going to want to make sure that you apply for this program. It's so amazing for e-commerce brands and like I said before earlier, Pinterest is slowly turning into a commerce platform and people are using the app more than ever to actually make purchases or drive their purchase decisions. So, so if you're an e-commerce brand and you're not on Pinterest and your audience is, then that audience is finding your competitors on the platform and buying their products over yours. If you want to learn how to strategically use Pinterest for your e-commerce brand so you can drive website traffic, increase sales conversions, increase your community, and drive awareness to your brand. I created a Pinterest marketing course for you that you can take that's less than 10 hours that's going to walk you through exactly how I help my clients make over $20,000 a month straight from Pinterest sales alone and how you can create and curate your own Pinterest strategy as well. And I'll leave the information to that Pinterest marketing course in the description. Another place you want to make sure you're adding keywords is within your board so over here under your save section are going to be all of your boards so if I click on one of my boards for example I talk a lot about Pinterest marketing you want to make sure that your boards are relevant to the content found on your website 
basically meaning if you are a fashion brand there should be no reason why you have a food board on your pinterest business account it does not make sense to your target audience and it does not make sense to pinterest pinterest uses your boards and the information you add to these boards to understand what your brand is about in order to distribute it out to the right people and if the right people find your boards first before they actually find your profile and they're seeing food content but they're looking for fashion inspiration it's going to confuse them and you're going to lose that follow and you're not going to get that person to at least travel over onto your website and definitely not convert them into a sale so in your board title you want to be as descriptive as broad you want to just be as descriptive as possible i would stray away from using creative words here because once again you want to use keywords and you want to tell the search engines on Pinterest, what exactly this board is about, as well as you want to be uh, descriptive to whoever's finding this and making sure that it speaks to your target audience. So for example, my board is just called Pinterest Marketing Tips. I did keyword research and I found that that was a keyword that people are typing in to find content like mine. Then what I made sure I did is in my board description, I made sure that I used the same keywords within the very first sentence within my board description. Then I also just made sure I added information on what type of information they're going to find in this board if they just Chose to follow my board in general. Now keep in mind these boards are very very relevant. I'm only adding in Pinterest marketing tips to this board. You will not see anything about TikTok in this board. Nothing about SEO just want, like for Google SEO in this board. You won't see anything about starting a business in this board. This is strictly for marketing tips because I want to make sure that I am telling Pinterest exactly what type of content is going to be in here. It's relevant to the board title. It's relevant to my overall account. And if people are typing in Pinterest marketing tips, I have a better chance of them finding my content over my competitor, just how well my content is optimized. So once again, keyword optimization is so crucial. Keyword research is so crucial in order to understand the voice of your target consumer. Once again, I'll leave that video down in the description below. Watch that video to understand how to do keyword research for your account on Pinterest as well as the content that you're producing on Pinterest. Number three, now let's dive exactly into how to physically promote your business on Pinterest. Now that you understand your business goals, you understand Pinterest's audience and if your audience is using Pinterest to find a brand like yours as well as that your account is all optimized it's all set up maybe you already set up your verified merchant account as well and it's all optimized so Pinterest uses visuals called pins and they come in multiple formats with the main ones being standard pins idea pins and product pins or shoppable pins now each one of these pens are used for a specific reason and this is why your business goals are going to make sense in a few because you're going to have to align them with the different pens on Pinterest. So standard pens, these are simply visuals. These are pens that you can add a link to and then they drive people off the platform to where you want them to land. Idea pens are video visuals. These can also be used to drive traffic off the platform. So as of April 2023, you can now add links to idea pens to drive people off the platform before you were not able to add links unless you had a verified merchant account and you can tag in your products or you can tag in affiliate links now you can just add a link to your idea pen without being a verified merchant and i'll show you how to do that really quick let's hop over onto my computer so if you go to the created tab and you want to add a link you can only so far do this on desktop version by the way you cannot do this on the mobile app and what you're going to do is you have to actually add the link after it's already posted. So you can't add the link while you're uploading it on the desktop version. So all you're going to do is you're going to scroll over a idea pen that you want to add a link to, and then you're going to hit the edit button right here. When you hit the edit button, something's going to pop over on the left hand side and you're going to see an option that says link and then go ahead and add the link that you want people to visit if they were to interact with this pen. Now you'll also notice some of these idea pens don't have this edit tool. So for example, this one doesn't have an edit. So in order to add a link, if you don't see this pen tool, just go ahead and click on it. And then you're gonna hit these three dots in this corner right here. And then you're gonna hit edit pen. And then once again, it'll bring up that section where you can add your link. Now Pinterest has been heavily pushing out video content, just like every other platform is doing nowadays. But idea pens are really, really great for actually growing your reach on Pinterest as well as growing the amount of followers on Pinterest. What a lot of people don't know, Pinterest is not really a follower based platform. It does not matter how many followers you have on Pinterest in order to get reach, engagement, website traffic, and sales. But if a lot of people are actually following your account on Pinterest, it's actually rare and you can 
can use idea pens to actually do that the last type of pens i want to talk about is shoppable pens now shoppable pens are only available to you if you are a verified merchant on pinterest and basically what pinterest does is it takes all the information of your products on your website including the product title the product description and the product image and it creates a pinterest pin for it over on pinterest once you upload your shop catalog so this is very important to make sure that on your website you actually have keywords in your product title and your product description and you want to make sure your images are high quality they're not stock images if you like are using uh, if you're a product-based brand you want to use your own images and make sure they're high quality but the reason why you want to have keywords in your product title and your product description is because pinterest takes all of that information and then uploads it onto Pinterest as a Pinterest pin. And so if you have creative product titles, um, no one is gonna be typing in that creative product title over on Pinterest, which means that's not gonna be, help you get your product found. So let me paint you an example, right? You're a fashion e-commerce brand and you have a product on your site called the Maya Top. Now the Maya Top physically looks like something I have on. Let's say it's a short sleeve black turtleneck top, but on your website, you have it called the Maya Top. Now, when you upload your shop catalog over onto Pinterest, Pinterest is taking all that information. You cannot change your information over on Pinterest. The only changes that actually happen on Pinterest when it comes to your product is through your website. So now you have a product pin on Pinterest that looks like this top, but it's called the Maya top. Now, if I'm somebody who is interested in finding a top that you sell, I'm going onto Pinterest probably typing in short sleeve turtleneck black top. Now, do you think your product is going to pop up, even though it's exactly what I'm looking for, but your main product title keyword has Maya Top. I'm not going onto Pinterest typing in the Maya Top. I'm going onto Pinterest typing in exactly what I'm looking for, which is the short sleeve black turtleneck top. So this is why it's so important to make sure you have keywords in your product title and your product description. And if you do want to be creative and add names to your products, you definitely can, but just make sure you add keywords behind it. So you can simply change the Maya Top to Maya Turtleneck short sleeve top oh, let's circle back around because remember as i said earlier all these pens serve a different purpose that aligns to your business goals so if you are trying to increase your website traffic and you're using pinterest to help you do that then you want to make sure that you're producing standard pens because standard pens are best for website traffic now if one of your business goals was to increase the visibility of your brand on the platform and finding and having more people find out who you are, what products you sell, then you want to use idea pens because idea pens are great for reach and are great for engagement and are great for growing a following. And all that together will get people more interested in your brand and learn more about your brand. If one of your business goals is to increase your sales or increase conversions and you're using Pinterest, then your shoppable pens are going to be and want to be something that you're really, really paying attention to. And once again, your product pens are just taking information off your site. So just make sure the products on your site have good images, high quality, good product title with keywords, good product description with keywords because that's the information taken over from Pinterest that's going to create those Pinterest pens. And if you follow all that information, it's going to be very easy for people to find your products on Pinterest and then convert them into actually buying your product. Now, one of the main questions I do get is when it comes to standard pens or when it comes to idea pens, what do these pens need to look like? What designs actually work well? Are there certain designs that work better than other designs? First things first. Pinterest actually tells you exactly what works well on Pinterest when it comes to standard pen designs and idea pens designs. So if you head over to business.pinterest.com, you're gonna be taken to this home page here. And under create content, I want you to click on making pens. And it's literally going to show you exactly what type of pens that you should be creating as well as what formats to have these pens in as well as how to create these pens how to upload them but it also gives you information on a few examples of pinterest creative best strategies or best practices if you click on that over here make pens that perform it literally tells you if you're creating standard pens make sure you pick a vertical images make sure your brand is the focal point include your logo add text overlay optimize your pen copy check your links 
if you're doing if you're doing idea pens it's telling you to think video first video is great for storytelling that helps you connect with your audience start with a video on the first page to stand out in people's feeds make sure to add overlay text since some people watch idea pens on the platform with no sound make your own content do not use other people's content of course um if you're using repurposed content from like instagram or tiktok make sure you take the watermarks off show your personality share the right details and then of course do a quality check on where you're leading people to a quality check on how it's going to look on mobile so literally pinterest tells you exactly what works as a pinterest marketer and strategist for the last six years and working with brands across all different types of industries i have noticed that some designs work better than others depending on your industry and depending on the analytics that i've seen from working with these brands so if you want to ditch the guessing on what type of designs actually work based on the industry and based on facts and statistics based on the brands i've worked with what i've actually done is created canva templates for you based on the industries that you're in so i have three different types of brand templates one for service-based brands one for product-based brands and one for bloggers and within these templates they're 100 customizable all you have to do is add your own image add your own text and then of course change the font type these pens are backed by industry designs they're backed by statistics and it's also just going to help you within your pinterest marketing strategy you don't have to go to canva and create pinterest pens every single time you can use these templates that have been backed by science and trends and i'll have those linked down in the description box as well number four is automation and scheduling now with any platform when it comes to marketing you have to be consistent right so when it comes to pinterest same thing especially since it's a search engine it's going to take time for pinterest to understand your content as well as understand the people who are engaging with your content and that's all because it's a search engine and search engines just take time so in order to be consistent on pinterest what i have found very helpful is to use a tool called tailwind I'll leave a video of Tailwind up in the cards as well as in the description box below to show you how I use Tailwind for my own personal business as well as for my clients' business. But basically, this is 100% the best marketing tool to use for Pinterest. You can also use it for Instagram and Facebook. However, I don't use it for those platforms. I just use it for Pinterest. What I love about Tailwind is that you can, one, create pins on Tailwind. Tailwind creates the Pinterest pins for you, which I show you in the video that I'll link down below. They also have a new ghostwriter AI tool. So basically now you don't even have to think of Pinterest pen titles and description. It does it for you. Um, let me actually hop over to my Pinterest account. So right here in this create feature right here, if you click on this, um, once again, I'm not going to go over it in detail how to use this because I have a video on it. But all you do is you add an image and then you add your text, you add your color palette, and then you add any branding. And once you are adding this on the side over here, it'll start to populate. So let me just show you real quick. I'm just going to add a random image. Um, but as soon as you upload an image over here, it's going to start to populate Pinterest pens and you can even choose the type of category. So if it's a content, if you're leading people to a product page, a blog post, a how to guide, you can actually pick what type of designs do best. Um, another thing I love about Tailwind when it comes to automation and scheduling is that you can create um, a social media plan and a scheduling plan. So. For example, here's my calendar here. Here's all the type of content that's going out on Pinterest based on the calendar that I set through Tailwind. And this just makes sure that I'm producing content that my audience actually wants to see on the platform, which has to do a lot with the analytics, which I'll get to in a few. They also have something called AI Lab. So over here, this is what I was talking about. You can generate a Pinterest pen title. You can generate a Pinterest pen description. And once again, this is not this tool is not only just for Pinterest. You can use it for blog articles. You can use it for SEO when it comes to your website. You can use it for YouTube videos, YouTube topics. You can use it for email subjects. You can use it for Instagram, for LinkedIn, for Facebook. Like this tool is so powerful and they just added this about a few months ago onto the Tailwind uh, once a tailwind and then the main thing I really love about this is the scheduling feature because what it does is one it's going to schedule out your pens at the highest engaged times that your audience is engaging with your content on Pinterest so you don't have to think about okay well when should I schedule my content no it does it for you and what you can do if you go over to this tab right here hitting your schedule um, it literally tells you what times a day that you should be posting your pens. Now, I 
particularly post three pins every single day and so i just pick three different options from the options it gives me and then it schedules it out during that time and over here on the side under your schedule you'll see all of your pins and they are automated they do it all for you so using a marketing tool like tailwind is just really going to help you be so effective at your pinterest marketing strategy because you can literally set it and forget it once again you can create pinterest pins in the platform if you want you can use the ghostwriter ai tool to come up with your pinterest pin titles and pinterest pin descriptions and you can also automate and schedule out your pins at the times that for sure your audience is engaging with your content over on pinterest now the fifth way to promote your business on pinterest is to understand your inner analytics there's no way that you can promote a business effectively if you don't understand exactly what's working and what's not working for your business with that being said you're going to have to understand Pinterest metrics and what metrics most align with those business goals because that's what you're going to be paying attention to. So like I said in the beginning, if one of your business goals is to drive website traffic and then you want to use Pinterest, then you're going to be looking at outbound clicks. And what you want to do is look at it in a seven day period, a 30 day period and understand how people are finding your website through Pinterest what pins are driving traffic to pinterest so i'm just going to show you real quick uh, my analytics so if you go over here to the analytics tab and you hit overview um right now mine's is set on the last 30 days and you can also set this by organic or by paid and er on earn i like to just set it on organic because i never run ads on pinterest i feel like i don't need to because i get a lot of website traffic without running ads um you can also do what format so if you want to see what standard pins are driving the most traffic or you want to see what idea pins are driving the most traffic you can do that if you want to see which one of your products are driving the most awareness for your brand you can set it like that and what you want to do is, for example, you need to understand exactly how to read these analytics and develop a strategy for that. If you have no idea how to do that, that's actually a module you'll learn in my Pinterest marketing course because I teach you exactly how to understand what's wrong and why you're not converting customers, why you're not getting website traffic by looking at your analytics and then devising a plan how to tackle that and then actually achieve those business goals. So for example, if you click over here under performance over time, here are the main metrics that are on Pinterest. So impressions, engagement, pin clicks, outbound clicks, saves, and then you have um, engagement rate, save rate, engaged audience, and so forth. In order to understand more about Pinterest analytics and metrics, I definitely recommend going to that website business.pinterest.com. And over here on the top, you're just going to click over the advertise tab scroll down to analytics and measurement and what it's going to do is this, it's just going to help you understand how to use pinterest metrics and how to measure them to make your strategy better for your business scroll down it's going to add what analytics drive actions it's going to talk about what conversion insights are and how to read conversion insights um, and you can even work with a measurement partner on pinterest now i've never tried this before um but I'm guessing you would have to pay for this or you can outsource a Pinterest marketing agency or a strategist to help you with your analytics, your reporting, and what's actually working on your website. So I won't dive into the strategy now. If you want to learn how to do your own strategy when it comes to metrics, once again, I go over that in my Pinterest marketing course, which you'll find the link down below. Now, I know this video was fast and quick, but if you take all the information that you learned in this video and make actionable strategies out of it, take all these steps and put it into action, you'll be successfully promoting your business with Pinterest in no time. Now, if you've done all this and promoting your business on Pinterest still isn't working for you, then there can be more underlying problems on why Pinterest is not working for you, especially if your audience is using the platform and especially if you have competitors on the platform that seem to be doing very well. If you want to fast track your success with Pinterest and ditch the guesswork, once again, I have my Pinterest marketing course. If you are a service-based brand, this course can be taken in four hours or less with only five modules. And if you're an e-commerce brand, this course can be taken in 10 hours or less and I have six modules. So I highly recommend this course if you want to fast track for your success if you want to increase the amount of website traffic coming to your website increase your brand awareness and visibility and also increase conversion so whether that's sales email signups downloads 
all using Pinterest for your business. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like content like this and I can start producing more of this type of content for you. And once again, if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that big subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. And once again, make sure you turn on those bell notifications so that way you're always notified every single time I post a new Pinterest marketing video. And don't forget, I'd love to hear your comments. I'm always thinking about ideas that I can talk about when it comes to Pinterest and sometimes I feel like I covered all the topics. So if you can do me a favor and if you love content on Pinterest, comment down below what type of topics I should talk about when it comes to Pinterest. So do you want to see ad strategy? Do you want to see uh, me actually creating pins and going over exactly what type of pins convert well or so forth? So whatever you want to see, make sure you leave it down in the comments so I understand what videos that you guys actually find valuable and I can create that for you. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.